Is Ubisoft the new standard bearer for how games should be made and how publishers slash shareholders' interests and consumer respect can meet? Ubisoft has always been a second tier developer from my own perspective. I've always enjoyed Rainbow Six games and Splinter Cell games. Games like this are well made and enjoyable to play, but I've never seen them as something that was truly unique or caught my eye in some profound way. The early aspects of Assassin's Creed series while interesting was never something that really caught my imagination. I know this is not the case for many gamers and my perspective of Ubisoft of the past may not be the one shared by many people. Recently with the release of Assassin's Creed Origins, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Far Cry 5, and now The Division 2, my perspective on Ubisoft is moving into a new light. All these games are showing up with excellent reviews and for my part I can see that Origins is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. I have also greatly enjoyed Odyssey, and Far Cry 5 is on my to-do list. While I know that my perspective is just that, a subjective viewpoint, it is hard to find any truly overwhelming negative press on any of these games. The only thing that really stands out to me in that dimension is The Division 2 being slightly repetitive, which is a hazard that no loot shooter has been able to overcome in the genre. While I do not personally see a desire in playing a style of game with this flaw that is almost impossible to overcome, the critics of this flaw in The Division 2 are a trickle in comparison to other games of the genre that have recently released. Recently, the gaming industry seems to be plagued with poor reviews and bad releases, while Ubisoft has had a string of recent amazing successes. What is the secret sauce that is driving this momentum at this company? Ubisoft was founded 32 years ago by five family members. The Gilmont family has retained its position of control in the company with the CEO of the company being one of the family members that helped found the company back in 1986. Even when Electronic Arts purchased 13.9% of the company back in 2004 and Ubisoft considered it to be a hostile takeover, they continued to maintain control of the vision and the direction of their company. Electronic Arts denied that it was a type of hostile takeover and inevitably ended up selling their share of the company in 2010. Ubisoft still maintains its leadership that initially started it, and that leadership has continued to guide the vision of Ubisoft and its identity over the last 30 plus years. What I'm getting at is I think that Ubisoft has a soul. The soul of a company is always in the people that run it, and when the people that run a company only have one goal and objective in mind, that singular focus will inevitably become the entire character of the company. When leadership in a company is focused on multiple aspects of the company's health, such as your human resources, your long-term business strategy, a respectful relationship with your consumers, and so much more, you will see this reflected in the character of the company and in the actions that they take. While Ubisoft is not without its flaws, and there are things about Assassin's Creed games Origins and Odyssey that I do not directly approve of, i.e. the inclusion of microtransactions to the level that they do, I must admit that part of me is okay with it. Since Ubisoft delivered a completed product of excellent quality and value for the money that I paid, for the pro full price retail of that game, there was a direct correlation to the price that I paid and the game that I received in the box. I hope that other companies and publishers can take a page from the book of Ubisoft and find that middle ground between the growth of revenue and the financial health of a company and its shareholders, while balancing respect for the consumer and fairness in your transaction with them. And lastly, valuing the people that work for you and make these amazing products a reality. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button. If you'd like to hear more of my musings and meanderings, please hit that subscribe button. Till next time.